two of the cameramen in this room. A video has resurfaced of James Corden failing to name a single cameraman from his own show in 2017 after he was labeled abusive by staff at Manhattan restaurant Balthazar. And things are now falling apart for the celebrated English comedian and TV show host. The British Spiderman, who has come under scrutiny, spoke to Jimmy Kimmel for a segment called Spill Your Guts. It consisted of Kimmel asking Corden questions and then eating or drinking unappetizing dishes if he failed to answer. The video resurfaced on social media on Tuesday, October 18, after Corden was shamed publicly for berating staff at Balthazar. Restaurant owner Keith McNally took to Instagram to announce he'd banned the comedian, describing him as the most abusive customer in 25 years. So, is this the beginning of the end for the star? And has his staff spoken about their backroom treatment by the big boss? Let's find out. James Corden is a man in trouble, and guess how he got there? A simple question by Jimmy Kimmel, named two of the cameramen in this room. That is a great question. The comedian replied, before saying it was a different crew tonight, actually and reaching for a fish smoothie. Following that revelation, Balthazar restaurant owner Keith McNally shared an Instagram post announcing he would be banning the Late Late Show host from his Soho mainstay, calling him the most abusive customer to his server since the restaurant opened 25 years ago. McNally wrote that he doesn't often 86 a customer, but today I 86 Corden. McNally went on to detail two egregious incidents of Corden acting like a diabolical dickhead to the staff. In June this year, Corden found a hair in his meal and showed it to his server after eating his main course. Totally normal behavior. Why flag a stray strand when you spot it when you can eat an entire meal under its watchful gaze? Stewing in contempt. Corden was extremely nasty to G, wrote McNally. He then allegedly demanded the waiter, get us another round of drinks this second, and also take care of all of our drinks so far. This way, I don't write any nasty reviews on Yelp or anything like that. The second report of Baki behavior took place in October when his wife ordered an egg yolk omelet. James called their server, MK, and told her there was a little bit of egg white mixed with the egg yolk. The kitchen remade the dish, but not without committing a mortal sin, they sent it back with home fries instead of salad. That's when James Corden began yelling like crazy to the server, you can't do your job. You can't do your job. Maybe I should go into the kitchen and cook the omelette myself. McNally has since retracted the ban, revealing that after his withering post, Corden called him up to apologize. James Corden just called me and apologized profusely, McNally wrote. So, if James Corden lets me host his Late Late Show for nine months, I'll immediately rescind his ban from Balthazar. No, of course not, McNally continued. But, anyone magnanimous enough to apologize to a deadbeat layabout like me and my staff doesn't deserve to be banned from anywhere, especially Balthazar. So come back to the five and dime, Jimmy Corden, Jimmy Corden. All is forgiven 20, but that's not the only ban the comedian is dealing with. Budget airline Ryanair has said that Corden is banned from flying with them after he came under fire over an alleged outburst in the New York restaurant. The Irish airline decided to get in on the jokes made about the star by tweeting that he was not welcome on their flights. Accompanied by a picture of Corden with a big red cross through his face, the official Ryanair account said, James Corden banned from Ryanair. Twitter users were sent into a frenzy when they saw the post, which now has over 90 Kelvin likes, 782 quote tweets, and 3,630 retweets. One user joked back to the airline, that's two extra seats you can sell. Another person jokingly offered a quote for their marketing team, Fly Ryanair, the only airline that guarantees you won't have to sit next to James Corden. Use this one for free, next marketing lines will cost. Corden's behavior may as well mark an end to his flourishing career. Other stars who lost their jobs after public outbursts include Bully Bush, Charlie Sheen, Paula Dean, Harvey Weinstein. Kevin Spacey and legendary golfer Tiger Woods. How do you think this will end for Corden? Let us know in the comments below. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye.